They're telling me that um, they feel that we have an excellent shot. They feel that um, I've got the energy and the knowledge of the community that will serve well in the mayor's position. Um, and they've been very positive and upbeat, and um, you know the feedback has been gratifying. So, um, you know, that's why we feel that uh, you know we're 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 doing uh, we we feel we're doing the right things. We're getting the right messages out. We're staying on message. You know, we're not going to um, get into kind of a you know nasty kind of a campaign. That's just not what we're about. I think it's time for kind of a more focused, hands-on leadership. Not micromanaging individual department heads, but getting more involved in the things that are important to Norwalk. Being more visible up in Hartford with our legislative delegation uh, to fight for the dollars that we should be getting for the, our, our educational system. You know, we have uh, places like West Hartford getting three times the amount uh, per student than the city of Norwalk and 47% of the Norwalk students are eligible for free or reduced cost lunching, lunches. So that shows that we have a need. Um, we have a diverse school population. So we also have more need for after school and ESL programs and those kinds of things that help people who aren't necessarily um, Eng English language um, articulate right now, but that they need help you know, learning the English language so that they can achieve in school. Um, we need to work more closely with them. So I think just more um, hands-on kinds of things. Being involved in the things that um, that really have an impact on the city. Getting involved from the very beginning, um, and, and and just being at the table when you should be. So I think just leadership for a change and bringing Norwalk in a new direction. I think is 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 something that. It was very important to me and on my mind. The other thing that I think is really important and has come up over and over again, um, when I was the police chief, um, I made it a, a point to try to have my police department represent the demographics of the community because that builds confidence. And I'm not sure if the numbers are exactly right, but there's 223 appointments to various boards and commissions in the city of Norwalk. Um, and only 15 approximately are filled with members of the Latino community. There are no African Americans on the Redevelopment Agency. Um, and I believe there's only one Hispanic. And the Redevelopment Agency is in a position of making decisions um, that affect a, a good po a percentage of the African American and Latino population. Um, when people who are in a position supposedly for working together to educate our children when there is dissension, um, everyone suffers. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, I, I think throughout, the, throughout my career, um, my focus has been on team building, a team approach to everything. I didn't look at myself necessarily, I knew I had the responsibility of being the chief of police and with that goes certain obligations, responsibilities and making the, the tough decisions that have to be made. But when I was working, I looked more as I'm a member of this team. And while I am, on paper, all my officers worked for me, the real fact is that I worked for them. And when I say that, I mean it was my job to give them the proper training, the skills, the tools um, to do their job. And I found that worked very well, and, and I believe that's one of the reasons they endorsed me, is that felt that, you know, when, when you're the leader of a department for 17 years, you can tend to make a lot of people angry, including the officers with whom you work. So for the fact that they came out and endorsed me, and again, I promised them absolutely nothing. Um, it's not my position to promise lavish contracts. Uh, it's my position to treat them fairly, try to work with them so that we can come to an amicable agreement and work out a, a, a bargaining agreement that is satisfactory to them but well within the ability of the city to handle. Remember, a mall does not pay taxes on inventory. They only pay taxes on their building and their fixtures. So they're not going to be generating a tremendous amount of tax revenue for the city of Norwalk, just like a BJ's isn't.
that, sure, it'll increase the grain list to some degree. But is that really the highest and best use for that piece of property? I'm, I'm running for office uh, for the city of Knoll. I'm running for a mayoral campaign and to, to um, focus in on zoning is, is a good thing, but also um, there are, I, I, I was running for the greater good. I'm looking to, to become the mayor of Norwalk and that, this campaign has me very, very, very busy you know, on my schedule.